welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm doing a review on the Louis Vuitton key pouch or key clay. I'm also showing you exactly what I use it for, everything that can fit in this little guy right here and also letting you know how this has held up for the last two years of me using it pretty much every single day. So this little pouch has been with me for two years. I got it on January the 13th 2017. It was a day after my birthday and me and Neil went to London and I've been saving up for it for quite a long time and I went into Louis Vuitton and I was like I can't believe I'm going to go in here and actually buy something and this was my first ever luxury piece my first ever Louis Vuitton piece as well and I was so excited on that day now I did so much research I looked at reviews saw what people used it for I also went on Facebook pages as well I am currently on a Louis Vuitton Facebook page as well and they do help you out so much if you have any questions about anything they are amazing on there and I know that it's only a little piece but I was so excited when I got it because I knew I'd be using it for loads of different things so at the moment I do use it for my keys and my keys are right here I have my car key I also have my front door keys also I have my mum and dad's front door key as well and this is pretty big for a keychain and sometimes it is hard for me to try and get it in this pouch but it does work pretty well to be honest I've also used it for other things when I've been on holiday so when I went to Florida I also went to the theme parks and I use this as a mini purse or mini wallet I also use it for my necessities as well so for instance I put plasters and stuff like that in here also there was a picture of me using this on my Instagram which I will insert in here so you can see it and I also use this as a wristlet as well but it was an amazing thing that I did it was so quick and easy to do and everyone was like how did you do that so there are a few different ways that you can wear this also there are a few different things that you can use it for as well which I'll also talk about in this video as well so you can see all the different ways that I've used it also you can think of different ways for yourself as well and honestly whatever you think can fit in here I can promise you that you can actually get more in than you think that you can so if you don't know about this pouch and you're not sure the dimensions and you're not sure if it's going to be the correct size for you if it'll work for you I'm going to go ahead and tell you what it says on the Louis Vuitton website so on the website it says this practical pouch holds change in keys and slips easily into a bag or pocket and the dimensions are 12 centimeters across seven centimeters down and one centimeter thick so it's not really that thick I mean it is thicker than you'd assume that this key pouch would be and when I saw this on the website I was like that's quite small I don't think I'm going to fit many things in there and then I saw the photos and I was like oh I'm still not too sure if it is a good size because it looked quite small and then I saw it in person and I was like this actually looks so much bigger than I thought it would be and this is a big key pouch as well you can get it in loads of different fabrics so you can get it in canvas where you get this monogram one which is right here you can also get the Demi a bean which is the check pattern which is a dark one and you can also get the Demi Azur as well and then you can also get it in leather and in the leather you can get a few different shades and they are slightly bigger in the leather ones as well but I've decided to choose the canvas one because I knew this was going to be really durable I didn't have to worry about scratches I didn't have to worry if it was going to get wet or wiping it clean or anything like that because because honestly I've spilt loads of things on this and all I've done is got a baby wipe and I've just wiped it across and it is perfect it is as good as new and honestly there's not even much wear on the canvas and I don't know if that will be the same for the leather so there are a few different ways that I've used this pouch and it's one of those where it is so versatile you can use it for loads of different things and because of the size of it it's not too big and it's not too small you can use it as a bag charm and you can also use it for necessities as well which I think is so good because a lot of the time you ever get pouches that are so big that you need to put them inside your bag and you can fit loads of things in them or you get ones that are too small and you can't really fit a lot of stuff in there so now I'm going to go ahead and tell you all the ways that I've used this pouch so the way that I'm currently using this and the way that I've been using it every single day for probably the last six months is as a key pouch and it is so easy to use now when I first got this I was a little bit confused I was like how am I going to open these up but all you do is you get the clasp and you pull it back and then you push it up like this because I wasn't sure how to open it and I even had to go on Google and find out how to use it and it's so easy to use and it's so secure as well so I'm going to show you that I can actually fit all of my keys in here sometimes it is a little bit of a squeeze just because my car key is so big I have a KA and as you guys know if you have a KA the keys are absolutely huge on here so it does take a little bit of jiggling because sometimes some of the thick ends of the key do stick up like this so as you can see it's quite fat there and quite bulky but you you just have to move the keys around and then you get the perfect way to put them in and it won't get too bulky or anything like that so this is what it looks like with all of my keys in here and as you can see it's a little bit bulky but I can still fit little things in here so for instance if I wanted to put some hair slides or stuff like that in here then I can just slot them in there 
and then I just do it up like that and it does look a little bit odd and a little bit dodgy at the moment but once you get the hang of it and once you move them around in there you can fit them in without it looking horrible. I mean I manage to do it pretty much every day without it looking horrible but if I'm in a rush I will just zip it up like that and that's what it looks like. So it's not too bad and the shape isn't too bad either but I wouldn't recommend doing this all the time because it can make it go a little bit out of shape. So to use it as a purse or a wallet I didn't really use to put a lot of stuff in here I just used to put the necessities like my cash and certain bank cards in here. So I'm just going to show you by using some cards that aren't really personalised to me. I mean this is my Odin Limitless card you can't really get any details off there. Then on this side I also have the back of my work card as well that I have to use when I go out and about. So I used to put the most of two or three in this pouch and as you can see these slot in really really well. You can just pop them in just like this and you can fit loads in here loads of cards if you have loads of them and if you just want to use this as a purse it's really good and you can use it just on the go then I'm going to take out all of my change that I have in my purse currently so I have three pounds and 24 pence right here so it's not a lot of money but it's a lot of change at the moment so I'm just gonna pop that in and that fits in really easily as well and there's no bulkiness coming out of it either and then I also used to have some notes. I'm also just going to take out my dollars that I had when I was on holiday. For some reason they're still in this purse. I don't know why because I haven't actually been there since February. So it's been almost a whole year since I've been there. And that just fits in so easily and so snugly. As you can see I have loads and loads of room in there. I have my cards. I have my cash. And I also have my notes in there. So you could fit a lot of stuff in here if you wanted to. And the last way that I'd use this is for my necessities. So if I go out and about and I don't want to carry a lot of stuff and I just want to put some necessities in here like plasters and stuff like that I would just go ahead and pop a few things in here use it as a bag charm or put it over my wrist and I'd be able to fit quite a lot of stuff in here so the first thing that I took with me was a lip balm and this one is the Kiko one and I absolutely love this it smells gorgeous and it looks so good as well so you just slot that in the bottom right there and I have half a pack of chewing gums as well and that just slots right in there and then I also have a panty liner but I'm also going to use this as plasters because I used to use plasters in here but I don't have plasters at the moment so this is the closest thing that I have so I'm just going to slot this in like that and I still have loads of room I have a mini perfume as well this is a Jador Enjoy perfume that I got it's just a tiny one so I'm going to slot that in as well three hair grips as well which I'm just going to pop in there then I also have a hair band which I'm going to put right here also I used to use this as a wristlet by using the hair band around my wrist and then I used to put other things in there instead so if it is a little bit bulky you can just do that and the last things that I have are my earphones and usually I would take out the hair band use it as a wristlet and then put the earphones in but I'm going to show you what it looks like with all of them in so I'm just gonna try and get these as small as I can and this is the worst thing honestly my earphones always get tangled they're pretty much everywhere I never have them in one space anymore I used to use this for my earphones all the time but then I realized that I needed it for my keys and not all of them fit in so that's what it looks like all done up so as you can see it's a little tiny bit bulky but it's not too bad to be honest you can still fit a few things right here there's not actually anything in that corner so what I could do is probably just move some stuff down and then bulk out of that and then it won't be so big at the top but I also used to use this as a keychain so I just used to put this on my bag and I used to have these things in here and it just used to look really good so I like using it for that and I'm also going to show you what it looks like if you use it as a wristlet as well so this is what I used to use it as so I used to put all those things in there and then I used to just get the keychain pop the hairband on there and then just put it around my wrist and it didn't look too bad because to be honest it was in America everything's really hot so everyone had these hairbands on and as you can see you can hold it like this as a wristlet and carry it around or if you do let go of it it's not going to go anywhere it's just dropped and it's just staying there so that's one of the things that I really liked and it was just a very easy and simple thing to do to use it like this because I was going around the shops and I was like well I don't really want to take a lot of stuff so I thought why not use it as a wristlet and I will not lose it and it's worked amazingly and I definitely recommend if you guys haven't used it like that use it because it is so good. So now I'm going to go ahead and go through the wear and tear and honestly this looks pretty good. There's only a couple of little marks I can see like there's a tiny mark on top of the LV that's a little bit of a scratch and there's a couple of little bits on the piping at the top which I'm not really too bothered about because you can't really see them unless you're properly looking up to it and the only place that's really got any wear and tear is just the ring pull right here there's a little bit of scratching on there but to be honest I use it every single day so 
if there wasn't any scratching on there then I would be a little bit confused why there wasn't so there's just a couple of little tiny scratches on there that I'm not really too worried about because from far away it looks pretty much brand new even up close it looks pretty much brand new unless you're looking at it very very closely and trying to find anything wrong with it but it's held up really well I'm so happy that I got canvas because honestly I don't baby this thing I put it in the bottom of my bags I fling it about places and it works really well and it's held it really well and the thing that I like about this is that it's so versatile you can use it for loads of different things I've shown you just three ways that I've used it and I know that loads of people have loads of different ways that they use it for as well and it's just so good you can use it as a bag charm you can use it as a mini purse or a mini wallet you can also use it as a necessity pouch as well and you can fit loads of stuff in there Honestly, if you look at it, you're like, oh, I can't really fit much stuff. But then when you try and put the stuff in, you can fit a hell of a lot of stuff in here. I could use it for so many different uses as well. And these are just three of the ways that I use it. If you want to see what other people use it for, then have a look at their videos or just go onto the Facebook pages or go on Google and they'll show you exactly what they use it for. So if you're looking at buying one piece from the luxury market or if you want to dip your toe in there, I definitely recommend getting this key pouch. It is so good. I love it. I've used it for loads of different things. Every use that I've used before I love it and I've used it every single day the wear and tear on it is so good as well and yeah I just absolutely love it and I really recommend this piece I love the monogram because you have the LV in the middle right here and then it pretty much matches up at the bottom right there as well I was one of those people where I looked at the stitch and I was like I want to make sure the stitching is good because at the time when I got it people were saying about that there are a couple of different issues with the way that their canvas was but this pretty much lines up almost perfectly anyway and this is what it looks like so I definitely recommend this piece I'm so happy that I got it I know for a fact I'm not gonna sell it because it just works really well for me loads of different ways everyday use is just so good so if you do have this piece just comment down below to let me know how you feel about it and what things you use it for and which ways you use it as well and I hope that you enjoyed this video and make sure that you give it a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video guys bye